Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Toriel Sultan. In this video, we're going to review another AppSumo lifetime deal that caught my attention a few days ago. This is a really interesting app that has the potential to help you create a local SEO agency to help small businesses rank on Google Maps. So this app is called a word of mouth bot. So far, they have 130 reviews. In this video, let's go through in and out on this app, the potential of it, the functionality, what kind of pricing you can charge for the local businesses without further ado what are we waiting for Every time when you set up a new business, it's going to automatically generate a QR code for you. So you can just click on this button and it will download this QR code. Guess what? There's a lot you can do with this single QR code, right? Just give you guys some creative thoughts. Here is a Facebook group of word of mouth. Reading a lot of these posts, I see a lot of people will actually treat this as a business and they actually give them a pretty good income on a passive basis. You can see here's a few methods. Some people actually send out these cards, these brochure, whoever is interested, they can scan the QR code, sign up for free trial. Sometimes in the shop, you can give them a QR code to leave a review. Again, this QR code is literally the same QR code. You can print it, you can put a little design onto it. And here is my phone with a camera open. I'm going to open this QR code. I'm going to basically scan this QR code and look at what happens. There is a link for me to click. If I click on it once, it's going to automatically load up this form I designed earlier. And you just need to enter your name and an email, click on submit. So once I enter my name and email, we have a five options. And look at what happens when I click on one, two or three. If I click on it, it will say, please let us know how we can do it better. So any message when the person typing here is addressed internally within the team. And this would actually give that business owner or business an opportunity to address their performance. The person is not happy about it. There's definitely something we can address there. Look at what happens when I click on four or five. I'm going to click on four, which is good. It loads up the next page, which is direct Google review page. That is how fast this entire system works. Remember, one, two, three is addressed internally and four and five is going to push to Google Maps. And the second thing you can do is manually enter your client's name, phone number or email address, or you can upload a CSV customer list. If a business already has a decent client list, you can basically onboard everyone here to utilize the previous customers. So the app itself is a one-time payment of $99 that opens up three locations that you can white label your service and sell your service to local small businesses who are seeking for better review. And now let's talk about why reviews are so important. Nowadays, everything is review. If you're online, if you're selling stuff, if you're local businesses, everything is about review, right? Statistically showing 97% of the consumers, they have to read reviews before they purchase anything. Let's grab these two examples. Same item, two different brands. The one on the left has 125 reviews and it's $62. Would you buy the one on the left or would you buy the one on the right that has a 4,500 review and it's cheaper, $45? No brainer, you're obviously going to go with the second one. So you see, this decision was made subconsciously. It's not even a conscious decision. And that's why reviews drive businesses traffic, period. No really technical skills involved, but keep that in mind that this is not just an app you plug and play and forget about it, right? You need to seriously have some sort of a strategy and a dedication. There is this sell process involved. If you're just hoping buy this app and make a whole bunch of money, that's not going to happen. With that said though, here is how the dashboard looks like. It's really simple, not complicated at all. So the first thing I did is white labeled and put on my own logo. So if you're looking for a cheap logo that's made, you can go with a Fiverr. However, here's my trick. It's basically utilizing artificial intelligence intelligence to come up with the business names and the logos. Come to this site called the namelix.com. The link is in the description below. Depends on what the keyword is. Here, I'm going to click on review and generate. Now you just need to choose the randomness and click on generate. That's all you need to do and look at what happens. What you can do here is basically ignore all the ads and just keep scrolling until something that catches your eye and you want to use it as your logo. I came to the same process, came to the same site. I narrowed down to this logo.
logo called the City Guide. So the first thing we want to do is come to settings. We want to enter our basic information, your phone number, your email, your password, and so forth. And second tab is branding adjustment. Here you can enter your website, your information here. You can upload the logo here in a PNG file and it's going to show up on the right hand side. And the last option here is the get free trial for local businesses. So basically what you need is copy this link and just pass it to any of your local businesses. You can see here is where they fill out their information so they can sign up with this form with a 14 day trial. Here the trial period I get to choose between zero to 30 and I can customize the background color and the button color and the verbiage on the button such as start your free trial today. I can also insert a video this way. So this is a video that's done by word of mouth. What I really like is there is a tight community for this app. There's about 2.9 thousand people in their Facebook group. And what I noticed is the founder or the owner of this entire business is a really dedicated person. I see he put out tons and tons of training program. A lot of these are leverage. You don't have to come up with these videos, these sales videos. They are done for you. All you need to do is go out there to sell your service to small businesses. And from there, we have a whole bunch of exclusive training. There's a whole bunch of video and just to get you going fast, right? And that is pretty much it. You see, it's a super simple to set it up. First thing I'm going to check is dentist. Let's grab that keyword and come to this website called explorekeywords.com. The link again is in the description below. So I typed dentist in Vancouver here. You can see that every month there's about 720 search volume on this keyword and each cost per click that Google charges is $9.22. So think about it, 720 times $9.22. This entire keyword is worth about $6,638. And that's why imagine if you ranked pretty high in terms of dentist in Vancouver on Google map, there's higher probability and higher chances. A lot of this traffic volume is going to you because you simply showed up first. In SEO world, we have a saying, if you want to hide a dead corpse, hide them on a Google second page because nobody really check on a second page of Google, right? Everything has happened on the first page of Google. Here's a Google map. I simply typed dentist Vancouver. So you can see there's some established businesses. Other competitors are having 200, 600. When it comes to urban dental clinic, he only has 12 review and 3.8 in total. So that is a potential client that you can contact them. You can walk in there basically to tell them this opportunity and a strategy to pump more review into their business. As a result, once urban dental clinic has higher ranking, number one, he gets to go higher rank, right? Number two, as a consumer, obviously I'm not going to go for urban dental clinic. I'm probably going to go with the first four options. Why is that? No matter where we go, we always look at the review first. And now, for example, I walk into Willow Dental Care. Everything went well. They said, you know what? We're going to give it a shot. How do I sign up? Obviously, there's two ways we can set them up into our system. First one is utilize this link. You can give it to the owner, ask them to sign up themselves or you can actually set up everything on their behalf. You can see here's a list of two businesses and the second business here is a restaurant business. It's on trial and the 13 day left until the trial. I like the visual here because it shows you how many days left. So for those who have a few more days left, it's a probably a good time to reach out to them, to call them to say, hey, Jason, your trial is ended. How do you like it? Or do we want to go with a month to month basis? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my sign up link, which is right here. I'm going to grab this business name and come to that form and enter on a first field. They have a two different locations. I just wanted to make sure this one is on Broadway right here. So it is the first option right here. This is dentist. You need a valid email and a password. That's it. What we do now is start our 14 day trial. As you can see, we're pretty much all set. Immediately, I got this email saying, hey, there's a new business signed up underneath my free trial. It's called uh, Willow Dental Care. And then from there, their logo was not found. So it's requiring me to go into the dashboard to set up logo properly. How you set up logo is basically log in as a user and click on here. For branding, here is how we customize everything. This is the logo that the company use. You can change the background of the form and you can also change the button color. We can always tweak the color to our own liking. That's pretty much it. Super simple. Click on update and save changes. And from there, we'll have a custom Customization. These triggers can go with the email or text messages, depends on which one you want to go for. Sometimes you finish an appointment, you don't want to trigger the review right away. You probably want to set like a few hours and the system will do the job for you. That is pretty much how everything works in a nutshell.
I want to give you guys some pros and cons of what I see this app, right? So the first thing, I went through the entire questions on Absomo Deal, including the reviews at the bottom as well. I see why people liked it, why people don't like it. Some people mentioned their UI is a little bit old looking. However, if you think about it, we're not really using the dashboard much. The entire thing is about the functionality. It's about the QR code. It's about the form. As long as that works, I could care less about how the UI works. If the UI is amazing, that's going to be a plus. If it's not, it's really not end of the world for me. And second thing I noticed some people mention is that they're not sure if this is against Google's terms and conditions or agreement. There is a technical term called a review gating. Basically, it's a filtering only giving the good reviews to the world and filtering the bad reviews. I totally see where this is coming from. And I do think the creator of this app already addressed the issue. If you come into any local businesses, you can always come to the top right corner. You see Google. I click on this wheel icon to adjust the settings. Immediately, I have this option called a review gating. I can turn it on or off. If that is a big major concern of you, then you can totally turn it off. The whole app still works amazingly well. And the whole point of it is drive review to a business, right? And second thing, remember, as a small business, business, you do not want to give incentives to get reviews from customers. For example, some barber shop will say, hey, give us a Google review. We'll give you um, $20 off of your next cut. That is actually against Google's terms and agreements. You do not want to give incentives in order to get reviews. So we're not giving any incentives here. So we're 100% safe in that matter. However, I do want to mention one more point. And me, myself, I've been doing review for about five years so far. It's been one of my passion to help local small businesses. All my photos had accumulated close to 40 million, so 39 million views in total. I have about 1,500 photos taken. So I do want to mention one point here. If if incentivizing people to give review is against Google's terms and agreement, then how do you explain Google is giving me levels, giving me badges? You can see here, right? They give you levels, they give you points, kind of gives you that dopamine hit, that gamification. The more I get to review, look at how many views I generated. So that incentivized me to keep doing this, right? That's why I've been doing this for four or five years. But do you count that as against their own terms and agreement? That's really hard to tell. That's in the gray zone. And if you think about it, word of mouth is a tool for us, right? We just need to use this tool to the finest. And now let's wrap up this video with the pricing. How much should you charge for such a service? Here is a quick screenshot I grabbed from one of the training videos by the owner or the founder of the app. What you want to do is put as many businesses on free trial as possible. And also keep that in mind that once you put them on a trial, you don't want to just leave them alone, right? Maybe this is a good time. Maybe you can help them with a the QR code, maybe come up with a design, print it out, go visit their shop, tell the owner to put this QR code on their wall, on their desk. So this way their front desk receptionist can quickly train themselves. And so what happened here is their staff is going to naturally reach out to people, their customer for review. So once they have a taste of the results within these two weeks period, number one, all reviews are permanent. You know, so if this business on trial, they generated 10 reviews, it goes to them permanently. That's a, such a sweet deal. And it's a tension grabber too. And second thing is once they have a taste of the results, guess what? When the trial period ends, that opens up some conversation of them, maybe renew their service. In terms of how much you should charge for the service, it's totally up to you. Some people have no issue charging people. I've seen people charge five, $600 a month for such a service. This five, $600 is a marketing budget for this business. They can write it off. Number two, they're probably not going to have any sort of a result with such an organic way to attract leads and customers into their businesses through Google Maps. And that is another no brainer. So they recommend it. You can charge $399 per month USD per month. If they order six months in total, you can bring it down to $299. If they order one year in advance, so you can give them basically $200 off. That's $2,400 off an entire year. That is pretty much up the entire review of word of mouth bot. And now question back to you. What do you think about the word of mouth bot? Do you think it's worth it? And do you see yourself using it? And how much would you charge for such a service to help businesses rank on Google Maps? Again, this app is truly one of a kind, is fully automated, is white labeled. And last but not least, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you do stay tuned for future content. This is Tariel Sultan signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.